Keying, six letter verb abbreviated from chroma key, meaning the act of cutting out a green screen from an image using a number of complex algorithms inside a piece of editing software. In our case, PhotoKey 7 Pro, the most powerful piece of keying software you can get. And because our clever programmers deal with all the complex math, all you have to do is drag in your green screen image and let PhotoKey 7 Pro go to work. However, knowing that sometimes green screen images require more detail and attention for a successful cutout, PhotoKey 7 Pro features a number of great, easy to use professional tools that have been designed for the challenges that can arise when making green screen photography. Introducing our lovely PhotoKey bride, Emma. You can download this image for free over at the Learn page of the PhotoKey website or Alternatively, it can be found in the installer files of your software. This image contains three of the most difficult elements to deal with when shooting green screen photography. Green screen light spill, tricky translucent textures and those really annoying stray frizzy hairs. A right old pain to deal with in editing, but perfect for the purposes of this tutorial. So we've imported our background image already and check the box here at the bottom to hide it. We'll bring it in later. Next, let's bring in our foreground image and you can see that PhotoKey 7 Pro will automatically remove the green screen backdrop. Great job, PhotoKey 7 Pro. However, you can also see that with a few small tweaks, this cutout will be well on its way to absolute perfection. Firstly, let's select Key from the toolset and take a look at the most important adjustment fields over in the toolbox. The Auto Chroma Key field is my first area to dive into when starting any new cutout. You have the ability to switch between several views when making adjustments. Result, which will show you the full color image. Matte, which depicts transparent areas as black, solid areas as white, and any translucent areas as gray. Status is a more detailed version of matte, showing every translucent pixel in the image as a mid-tone gray. I usually make my adjustment in the status view and then check the changes in the results view, giving me technical accuracy as well as creative control. We can see that we still have a lot of alpha detail from the green screen in the background. Go to Clip Background and move the slider. You'll see grey pixels turning to black, which means they are disappearing. Great! Go too far, however, and you'll begin to eat into your foreground alpha and make our bride look like she is dissolving. I'd advise using the status view to make this adjustment and ensure accuracy. Next, go to Clip Foreground and pull the slider across. What you'll see is grey pixels turning white, or, in other words, the transparent pixels becoming solid. Once again, fantastic. This is exactly what we want to do. Let's switch to the results view and look at her headwear though. We can see that by moving the clip foreground slider all the way to the left, we have turned her lovely transparent veil into a solid area. This will look very odd when we start to bring in our background image and can be addressed with some further refinement provided by the clip rollback slider. Clip rollback will intelligently tidy up the edges of our cutout and is just perfect for areas like transparent materials and areas of stray hair. Should you then wish to, the erode expand adjustment can be used to make finishing touches to the edges, but do be warned, this only requires the lightest of touches or you may end up creating your very own abstract Picasso. Use the gain and gamma sliders to tidy up any remaining background alpha and there we go. A great clean cutout. All we need to do now is address these areas of green that you will have noticed around our bride's hair and dress. This is caused by spill, every green screen photographer's absolute nightmare and is the result of light from the green screen reflecting back onto the subject. It's always good practice to address spill when setting up your lighting and green screen. More information can be found over at the Learn page, but hey, we all know that spill happens and never fear, PhotoKey 7 Pro features the new and powerful Spill Simulation Pro, which will make very short work of any unsightly green areas in your foreground. Select the Spill Suppression from the toolbox, and you can see that automatically the Spill Suppression already gets to work and does a great job. However, with particularly bad cases of spill, you will need to adjust the sliders to achieve absolute perfection. Make sure you're in results view so that you can see the image in full color and slide the hue range over to the far extremes. You can see that moving the slider to the left makes the green a little more prominent. Moving the slider to the far right turns our photo key bride a funny shade of magenta. However, 
If we slowly move the slider back from here towards the center, we can start to see the magenta hue fades and the green spill is gone. Any minor tweaks can be made by adjusting the balance and hue balance slider. And I always check the luminance levels in the spill replacement that can cause a blocky feel to any areas of fine edge detail. Light wrap is a great way of adding an extra level of realism into the blending between your foreground and background images, allowing you to simulate ambient light wrapping around your subject. I'm going to stick with the default blend mode lighten and move the slider until I have a nice subtle halo of light casting around our model. Lighten is the mode that's most useful over a broad range of images so I end up using this one the most. I would however encourage you to get to know the other blending modes by selecting them from the drop down menu and pulling the slider to the far left and then the far right and looking closely at the edge of your foreground images for the differences. And there we go. Keying done. Other refinement options are in the key toolbox for you to utilize, but the ones I've covered in this tutorial are, in my workflow, the essential elements when working with PhotoKey 7 Pro. There are more tutorials to be found over at the learn page at fxhome.com forward slash PhotoKey. I'm Erin Patel, thanks for watching.